Hi, I am here today with author Amanda Mack. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? I'm excited. So you have this new book, Green Zone Growing Cans. How did that come about? Um, well, I've actually been writing for quite some time, and I really wanted to produce something that my children and my family could get inspired by. Um, growing up in the projects, it's not really a lot of fresh alternatives, fresh fruits and vegetables. Um, our market had a lot of canned goods. Um, so I really wanted to do a, a health start, a health kick for kids all in the neighborhood about you know, this is where fresh fruits come from. Not from cans, not from boxes, not from jars or containers. It comes straight from the ground. Okay. Now, you've worked in publishing for a while. So what was the difference versus working in publishing, like with a magazine, actually creating a whole book? Oh, my goodness. Oh, it's just, it's such a big difference. Um, first of all, publishing a magazine is completely different from publishing a book. Um, I did a lot of, the, I did all of the illustrations in my book, um, I read it, I wrote it, and I illustrated it. Um, with the magazine, it's different. You have a whole team of people contributing to your publication. Um, and with the book, it's all me. I have to figure out my marketing. I have to figure out um, where the books are going to sell, how I'm going to design the books. So it's really intense. It's a really long process, but it's very rewarding when you see your your product just come to life. It's, it's so rewarding. Okay, so let's show them the cover. Clearly, the vegetables are jumping out of the can, so... <laughs> we're, we're pretty sure this is not what you get in your regular grocery store. Yes. So you have kids. Were they involved in the process of you actually putting yes. the book together? Well, my daughter, she's one. So she's like a baby. Okay. Um, yeah. But my son, he's eight. His name is Gerard Mack. Um, and he helped me illustrate the book. So it was really nice and really fulfilling. He's very artistic. He's a lot like me. So it was really nice to be able to share this moment with him. And, you know, when we got it, it's just like, oh, my goodness, I did that. You know, and he'll have this as a staple to show, like, you know, that he was a part of something great. It's not just a book. It's a, it's a movement, you know. Okay, so how can this change how families and parents and everybody's eating? I mean, a lot of people do grow up, you know, they're getting the canned goods. It's quick, right, it's easy. Right. How do we kind of convert people over to buying the fresh vegetables and growing them? I mean, we're in this beautiful yeah. garden as yeah. well. Um, well, it's really simple. And that's why this, that's why I started with a children's book because it starts when you're a child. It starts when you're a baby. Introducing those foods to your, to your kids when they're young, it opens their palate up for, you know, different tastes, different things, and it allows them to try new things that are good for them. Not just saying, okay, this bowl of cereal is great, it has lots of sugar, these donuts are great, but trying to cook foods in a different way that appease your child. And, um, you know, and, and sharing those moment, moments with them in the kitchen, at the market, you know, telling them how foods help your body, what they actually do for you. Kids are excited to learn. So even though it's food, it's still something that you can educate them on and they're excited about. About it. Okay, so are there any vegetables that you brought in new for your son to try that he was just like, oh, mom, no, I can't do it. It's just, ah. Uh, uh. Actually, my son, he's okay with vegetables. Um, he likes mostly all vegetables. It was kind of hard getting him on, like, green beans. And I guess because of the texture, you know how when you bite them, like, the seeds pop into your mouth? <laughs> he would, um, it would be hard for him, for him to eat those. But he loves my daughter. She eats everything. <laughs> She loves it. She loves broccoli. And I think it's because I started early. Like, right. I kind of got a late start with my son. He's eight. Even though I was really into nutrition, I didn't introduce him really early to fresher, raw foods. My daughter, she tries things steamed, raw, dipped, you know, and she likes everything. Okay. So where's the book going to be available? When the book comes out, one, when's the release date? And then where can we get it? Okay, so the book comes out May 17th. I'm having an awesome book signing down at Harbor East. Um, it's going to be May 17th. The books will be available for sale there and on my website at amandamack.com. Um, I'm working on something now to get them into local bookstores and cafes here in Baltimore and on barnesandnobles.com. All right. Well, that is our interview with Miss Amanda Mack. Thank you so much. We look so forward much. to the book coming out and everything. And um, you guys can check this out further online. Be sure to check it out. The book comes out May 17th. And uh, we'll talk to you soon.